Hey gang, welcome back. It's uh, been a long month of December 1940. It's taken a uh, significant number of days to play. Um, just because there's a lot of action, which is good. <clears throat> and this, uh, the beginning, the scenario, uh, the compass scenario, and using that as a campaign start, really has a very different feel to it. The, um, the biggest difference is the amount of supply. Uh, because y when you start back in uh, September 8th in 1940, you can simulcast a lot of turns and, and you don't spend any uh, supply, or very little anyway, as either the Italians or the uh, English uh, allies, I should say. And so uh, what ends up happening uh, when you start this scenario is that you start with uh, significantly less supply for both sides. And in particular, actually, it hurts the. I think it hurts the Allied player more than anything else because you don't get a chance to build up that uh, uh, that dump uh, all the way down here. Uh, you know, when I did this last time, I had uh, ten or fifteen, maybe even more SP there. Um, nevertheless, that is what it is. So uh, we're doing a lot more shuffling to get activity done, but and so it's much harder to execute. In fact, last turn we had rain, uh, the last turn of the month in December we had rain and so you know, we just shut everything down. There was no point in uh, trying to move armor or any other units uh, for that matter uh, very far at all. So uh, the, let's have a look at what's the situation. Uh, the Italians have been released from their obligations with the, uh, having units over the Libyan-Egyptian border. Uh, due to penetration by the Allies. Uh, the Allies have managed to destroy in combat uh, a small handful of units and put several out of supply over in the, uh, you know, the city Barani area. Uh, majority of those forces over there died either out of supply or uh, made disastrous attacks uh, at poor odds because they were you know, going to die anyway, so they might as well try and take someone with them. That was my attitude. Um, let's see. So now we have this situation where with clear weather on the 1st of January, O'Connor, if we can get enough supply up to these guys in a turn or two, O'Connor is going to be able to make a break for Tobruk, which is very lightly defended at the moment. Uh, and we're going to need to fix that as the Italian player at some point. Uh, because all of our reinforcements were held up. Uh, they're coming by foot. And they were held up by the, uh, by the wet weather. So uh, we're, we're going to start peeling units back. In fact, I started last turn uh, with this one 12-step unit. Not 12-step, 3-step unit that has... Uh, the 12 combat factors. We get these into these uh, uh, higher hedgehog rated hexes and we'll be, should be okay and maybe be able to hang out or hold out until uh, Rommel arrives. Uh, the Allied player is on a bit of a time crunch too, you know, he's got really this month to crank down as, on, uh, as much of the Italian army as he can and they've done a pretty good job this, this time around, much better than last time. The, as I said, without as much supply, the uh, the Axis have not had the opportunity to DG forces and force uh, stacks out of reserve mode or, uh, or inhibit the movement and attack uh, plans of the Allies as much as they were able to in the last, uh, the last go round. So it's playing out very differently and it's very interesting. It's taking a lot more thought. Uh, so it's slowing down my turns quite a bit. but. Uh, it's a small handful of units. I'm just taking my time and uh, really enjoying the, enjoying it here. Uh, it'll be interesting to see once we get to February, March, how, how different the gameplay is then as well. So I'm pretty excited about it all. It's all good stuff. And we'll uh, check in with another video probably near the end of the month. Uh, um, yeah, probably the end of the month of January or, we'll, or maybe a bit earlier if something uh, exciting happens, uh, like a breakthrough or something like that. We'll see. Ciao.